before becoming an SCS student. I started out of high school as a combat medic in the Army. I worked as a loan officer, and then I ended up being a VP at J.P. Morgan. I worked for ABC News in New York. I have worked in the financial accounting industry the higher education industry. I left high school to tour the country playing a rock and roll band. I had an apprenticeship for a nonprofit called the Chicago Center for Urban Life and Culture. I also worked in commercial real estate. I decided to go back to school because I knew I was ready for it. My business at the time was a delivery company. And after September 11th, my business just dropped off. I was 23, 24 at the time, and was in the military, lived overseas, just felt like it was time to sort of get that foundational knowledge base. I had two young kids at home, and it became really clear to me that if I expected them to go to college and get a degree and move on in life, that maybe I needed to have a degree of my own. My previous higher education experience was a lot of boredom. Unfortunately. So I wanted to go to school with people that were going to go on to do really interesting things. It was important to me that I would be challenged and that I would be in an environment um, with the best and the brightest. I really just never felt challenged. And so I looked at the information systems curriculum and I saw software project management and that, like, that was it. So. One of the pleasures, I think, or advantages is how I'd put it, of going to school when you're older, is that you kind of know why you're here and what you're doing. There are a lot of people there who are there because they want to be there. They're not there because mom and dad told them they had to go get a degree. They had a certain ambition, a certain drive, a certain inner desire. And they're not afraid to speak up and say what they think, which I love. The online course has just allowed me to manage my schedule, be more organized, and actually like keep a balance of my personal life versus work life versus school life. I felt um, the caliber of professors, in addition to the caliber of students, really made a compelling combination. I took classes with some of the best professors at Northwestern. I feel important when I'm in an SCS class. I feel like I have something to say and that professors want to hear it and that's how they structure the classes so that there is a huge amount of student input. I go and email a professor, they'll offer you their number and email so that you can be in communication with them. I actually started regretting the end of class. Who gets disappointed about class ending and not having to worry about homework anymore? It made me a much more inquisitive person, much more um, really, I think a, a thoughtful, a more thoughtful person. As a result of, of the experiences I've had, I don't rule anything out. So I'm sort of open to any opportunity, and I think a lot of opportunities are just opened up to me by being a Northwestern student. So I felt that when I was at Northwestern University, around students that were very hungry for knowledge, around professors who were, you know, extremely knowledgeable and really could relate the subject to things that they did in their life, and really the demands that they put on you for the amount of materials you needed to understand and learn, I felt sort of really opened up my engine, if you will, and I felt much more comfortable, you know, in that type of uh, workload. Um, and, and I really didn't know that about myself until that time that I came to Northwestern. I think a lot of people that I've spoken to have been intimidated by the fact that it's Northwestern, and Northwestern is tough. The classes are interesting and they're hard and, and you have to think. But for people that are adults, I think SES makes it a friendly place for you to be. So if you're someone that's not afraid to work hard and ask questions, then absolutely it's the right place for you. There's no doubt in my mind that Northwestern was the first and most important step uh, in the, let's call it the the latest direction my life has taken.